Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Saturday, July 13, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from James chapter 1, reading verse 12. And it says, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that loved him. Amen. Thank you, dear Lord, for your words. Here a blessing is pronounced on those who will endure temptation. All of us, at some point in our lives, will go through temptations. And unfortunately, some of us become casualties and will become casualties to temptation. But the question is, do you have to become casualty? Do you have to fall to that temptation? Because the word of God tells us that with every temptation that comes, he always provides a way of escape. So God gives us the assurance that he will make a way even when there is no way. And not only that, but he also promised that if we endure, then what? He will fulfill his promise to us. Now what is his promise to us? A crown of life. Isn't that so? And in John 14, 1 to 3, he said that he has gone to prepare a place for us. Isn't that so? So, it therefore means that if we are not faithful, if we have succumbed to these temptations, then it's fair to say that we will not be recipients of these promises. So, do you see how important it is for you and I to remain steadfast? Now, the question remains, should I put myself in a situation to be tempted? And my answer to you is this. No. Do not put yourself in such a compromising situation. But if and when you and I find ourselves in such a position and we remain steadfast in our resolve, our commitment, and our loyalty to God, then He will give us this crown of life. Many of us are in situations that we cannot control. Like for instance, maybe you are around families that smoke and you don't smoke, drink and you don't drink, but it's not like you have somewhere else to go and to live. And so you have to be in that environment and maybe it is that you are even a, a recover addict as it were from these things. And now you are in these positions just the same. Not participating, but you are surrounded by them. And so I know it can be difficult, and especially if you don't tap into the resource that God has given to you in His strength. Pre-adventure, you might just relapse. Or maybe it is that you work in an environment that you are surrounded by things that are ungodly, but you need a job, right? Now, what do you do? Are you going to quit your job because there is something that you see that you know shouldn't be? It depends. It depends and that is something that you should consult God on because 
in truth and in fact if uh, if it is a situation that is going to cause you to stumble then there is no question you got to give it up Matthew tell us that if your right hand offend you you got to cut it off so sometimes we got to make sacrifices that makes us uncomfortable in order to do what is right and what is best for us and so I know sometimes there are situations but the message to you and the message to me this morning is this endure persevere don't fall prey to the situation don't allow yourself to become a casualty to that temptation because is not the temptation that is sin you know is yielding to the temptation that is sin do you understand and so it would be wise to find a way to navigate out of the situation without violating your principle and your covenant with god do you get it so perseverance did do what jesus did i think that's the best way i can tell you do what jesus did when jesus was tempted what did he do he used the word of god he stood firm on what he knew was true and what was the right thing and that is what you and i have to do we have to make a resolve in our hearts that we will stand up for what is right what is truth and what is good and in accordance to God's will and if we do that then we will certainly make it through we may not be able to escape the scratch and the bruises all the time but we will certainly be okay to receive that crown of life and so may God keep you. May God give you strength to endure. And as you endure, I pray that he will bless you and eventually reward you with that crown of life. In Jesus' name, amen.